What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at some new power tools that I just picked up from Snap-on. These are both on the 14.4 platform. Um, the first one that I picked up was the brushed 3 8 ratchet. It's gonna be your part number right there, CTR762G. Uh, like I said, this is the older one, so it is the brush model. Um, it's got a bit of a bigger head than the newer one. This is a 3 8 um, I picked up the 3 8 just because I already have a quarter inch uh, high-speed Milwaukee ratchet. When Basically, when I use this as a 3 8 I just throw this adapter on it and it makes it kind of like a 3 8 but if I'm working with multiple different sockets, uh, I gotta keep switching the, the adapter on and off. So I decided to pick up the 3 8 one. Um, my Snap-on dealer had this one used, um, gave me a great deal on it, so I picked it up and he threw in this little boot. So how could I resist, right? Um, you guys can see it's got a smaller trigger than the Milwaukee Ratchet, which I like. You got your light right there for the battery indicator you got one led right up here um and then you've got your forward and reverse lever right here on the back that little hole right there in the middle is to grease your ratchet as you can see this one's already greased and like i said it's a 3 8 brushed so, um this is the high torque model so it is slower than the newer model and than the milwaukee um but it has i believe 50 to 60 foot pounds of torque You guys can see it's pretty loud. Um, and then just for comparison, the Milwaukee one. You guys can see it a lot faster. But this will definitely come in handy, um, especially like I said, when I'm working with multiple fasteners and I don't gotta keep switching the adapter on and off because I'll have a 3 8 and a quarter inch ratchet. So very happy with this one. Um, know I'm gonna get a lot of good use. Uh, so let's get into the next item. All right, and the next thing I picked up is the new brushless CT861. That's your part number right there. This is a 3 8 impact wrench. It's probably gonna take me some time to get used to this um, toggle trigger right here. Basically, this is to tighten and that's to loosen. I believe this has about 250 foot-pounds of breakaway torque, um, but it tested a lot higher on the torque test channel so if you guys haven't watched that video definitely go check it out um, right now what i use the most is this milwaukee stubby um, this is also 3 8 and as you guys can see the stubby is a lot shorter than the snap-on but a lot thicker um, and this i can basically use it as a quarter inch too you got this adapter right here for the snap-on but it does make it pretty long if you throw a socket on it. So I'll just show you guys how it looks with the socket on it. Said it does make it pretty long. Right now I also use the same adapter on this stubby when I have some smaller fasteners. Um, but very happy with this one. I know there's a few different videos out there on this. Um, so definitely check them out. I picked this up as a kit with two batteries and a charger. And then I picked up this little magnetic boot from my Snap-on dealer. So let me just get this opened up and you guys can check it out. So basically you just throw this on the battery. I can get it on. And basically you can stick it anywhere you need to. It's magnetic and the magnet on this is super strong. So if you set it down sideways, it won't fall off or anything like that. But Definitely better to just set it straight up like that. That way it's nice and secure. Uh, definitely like the trigger on it. Like I said, it's probably gonna take me a little bit to get used to it, but very happy with it. I'm excited to start using this for sure. I love the way it looks. I'm probably not gonna try to get this um, too dirty. Um, so I'll try to keep it in as nice condition as possible, but I'm not gonna limit its use for sure. I'm gonna be trying to reach for this first before anything else. So very excited with these pickups, guys. Um, hopefully you guys like the video. Let me know if you guys have any experience with either one of these tools and what you guys think. Uh, aside from that, guys, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.